Anniversary celebration. It's showtime! And I'm ready. And I'm, let's go. Let's go. The region's most easily accessible radio show, Stone On Air. Who is this guy? What was your name again? This is Brian Stone. I hate everybody and everything. And if you don't like it, I hate you. That's not true! So I just tweeted about him that, that he is my choice white guy in Chattanooga. Wow, we all crazy. And I can appreciate the genius of fake it till you make it. You don't want most of it, you want all of it. And I won't stop until you get all of it. Stone on air. You really have nothing better to do, do you? No, I do not. <laughs> Loud and proud, just a dash of brash. It is the Stone On Air show. The region's most easily accessible radio show. And we just started 30 seconds ago. Website is live at stoneonair.com. Went live nine minutes ago. Dan will plan it in studio. A whole lot of stuff to get to. The flagship is where we're live on Talk Radio 102.3. My name is Brian Stone. Very happy to finally make this thing a reality. It's been a radio show that's been in my back of my head for very deliberately and aggressively for the last five months or so, but really for the last 15 years. Whatever station it was at, wherever I was working, whatever capacity I had to, uh, to access to, I always thought the idea of doing a a radio show like this would be would be really fun and a really cool idea for the city, and people have tried it uh, off and on in different variations, um, mostly in the music world, mostly in the music stations world. And when I wanted to do it 15 years ago, 10 years ago, somebody was always doing some kind of local show. You got the Plasma Boy back in the day at old uh, uh, WAWL. Um, Oz did it for a while over at uh, Rock 105 and, I believe, uh, another station, and and, and so there was always somebody doing something, and it just felt like I was stomping on toes, or we just maybe there wasn't enough demand for uh, for two of them, for for two of the same outlets. And right now, nobody's doing much of that at, at all, and no one's doing anything like we're doing right here on the flagship, which is Talk Radio One Hundred Two Point Three. But the SoundCloud page has been built. Nathan Gale, by the way, need Howdy. to say need to say hello to Nathan back in the house. It's been about a year since he's been here. He's the videographer and executive producer of the show. Tara V, contributor, she's hanging out with us as well. And um, Dan will plan it's in the house. We'll get to them here in just a couple of minutes. But the website is now live, stoneonair.com. Um, the multimedia platform is what I'm really, really focusing on. And it's going to take a few weeks to... Um, to get it all where we want it. We've got all the cameras set up, the YouTube channel. It might not be ready until the middle of the week, maybe later on. But tonight you'll be able to listen to the show, podcast it at stoneonair.com. You'll be able to uh, get it at SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash stoneonair. And all this stuff will be available through our website. Uh, very, a pretty good-looking website. Very good-looking website, as a matter of fact. And it's not going to blow your mind away, but I mean, it's it's the, the main purpose is for you to be able to access the show. I found out the other day, and I'm really excited about this, that our Bonnaroo ticket giveaway this year is exclusive to this radio show. Awesome! So that is a nice little perk. More information on that as we get closer to to to, to announce because the announcement is this Tuesday on Conan O'Brien of all places. Yeah. And so that's a really exciting thing that we'll be giving away. Uh, so we, this show has to last until June at least, right? So we have to now. So we'll, we'll, we'll be doing that. More, more news on that as it goes along. And if you are in, if, if you're somebody who wants to be featured on this show, believe it or not, I'm not that booked yet. Um, about halfway through February, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm not booked. I got 
two jobs and very little time left in any day. So if you guys want to be, if you're in a band, you know people in the band, you want to be f- featured on this show that's going to be easily accessible to all your peers and your contemporaries, and it, and it can be listened to and found on any kind of, you know, on any kind of st- search, Google search of Stone On Air, all one word, is going to get you this show. Uh, send them my way, stoneonair at gmail.com, stoneonair at, stone on at gmail.com. But I will tell you this, I am a, I'm not a Luddite, I love technology. I have fun with it. I play with it. I lo- I enjoy it. I think it enriches my life for the most part. But I am I'm a child of the '90s. And you remember going to the mailbox and you getting something in the mail? That was a big day. Now that was a big day when something came in the mail. So 821 Pineville Road. I'm a big fan of tangible stuff. Any old jerk can send me an email. That takes two seconds. That that, that that's not showing any real dedication to what you're trying to do. That mailbox up front of mine at 821 Pineville Road, 37405, has stuff in it, you know, like compact discs and uh, press kits and things like that. That's going to impress me. And uh, so that's just something to think about. But definitely don't shy away from email me. Do that as well. But just giving you a heads up on that. The opening segment of the show, Stone's Throw. It's Stone's Throw. Wait, what? Oh, whoa. Back up the truck. Beep, beep. What are you talking about? Is technology making us mentally ill? Look at me, I'm stupid, I can't do math. This is not making sense to the young adult anymore, and they're tired of it. Does that satisfy you? Are you satisfied now? The Talk Monster. Now, I was thinking about not doing what would be considered the Stone's Throw segment right off the bat and just kind of playing a getting to know you thing. Until two hours ago. And the opening rant for the Stone's Throw came to me. I'm watching the football game. You're listening to Stone On Air on the flagship on Talk Radio 102.3. So I'm watching the football game, and in the first break, there's a Norm McDonald KFC commercial. Now, I, I love Norm McDonald. It's one of those, if his mouth's moving, then something funny's happening. So I actually think the commercials are kind of funny. I bet most people look at it and think this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But the new product at KFC... And this all, just bear with me for a minute. The new product at KFC is Nashville Hot Chicken. Nashville Hot Chicken. Oh, yeah. I've been screaming in this city for years. You know, we got all these great chicken joints, right? All over town. Champies, Bees, whatever one of those on MLK. We got these great chicken joints. Why don't we have Nashville Hot Chicken in Chattanooga, Tennessee? Why is, why is it now KFC? Come on, man. That's ridic- that's ridiculous. And if you don't know what hot chicken is, I got Nashville guys in here. with me. they know all about hot, uh, the hot chicken. Princess. It's not. It's not just chicken that's hot. It's a very specific recipe. It's not like you get you know extreme, blow your head off, and mild and wild. It's it's one thing. It's one spe- particular recipe. Why can't those champies not have that? Bees. You know when you when you've given up on your youth when you talk about how great bees chicken is. Yeah, let's all sit around a table and eat the. Off to each other's plates. It's basically, it's basically what you're doing at Bees. And they don't have any hot chicken. Champies, I love you. I've tweeted at you a bunch. Why don't you guys have hot chicken? What's going on here? But lo and behold, so it is possible because KFC is now your home for hot chicken in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And that's wrong. That's wrong that that's the only place. I, 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 don't have, I shouldn't have to go to Nashville to get hot chicken. I think you can get it at O'Charlie's, too. No, you can't. <laughs> Don't screw this up. <laughs> I had a point. But I don't want to go to a truck. I'm talking about authentic, cla- classic, you know, iconic chicken joints in this city need to get the damn recipe for hot chicken and have it on the menu. I agree. All right. Yeah, and I wasn't gonna, that, that came to me two hours ago. I'm sorry. All right, we're going to get out of here. We'll be right back. we got Dan uh, Pinson and Adam Brown in for the rest of the hour. We're going to chat. We're going to play some music. I got, uh, I'm got. i going to blindside both you guys uh, that I haven't, didn't tell you about, uh, and it's you'll, you'll enjoy it. We'll do that here in a minute as well. The flagship station is Talk Radio 102.3. You'll find us on SoundCloud. It's stoneonair.com. It's live now, stoneonair.com. That won't be until after the show, but we'll get it up right after the show. And then the YouTube channel's under construction. Not trying to hate on KFC. This isn't about KFC. This is about Chattanooga not having hot chicken. 
Why are we letting Nashville kick our you know what's in incredibly craveable cuisine? That's the right word. Thanks for tuning in, guys. My name is Brian Stone. He's Nathan Gale, the Animal Planet. Coming up next, Stone on Air. More of Stone on Air coming up. Completely unsanctioned by the church. The Talk Monster. Now more. Stone on Air. It's about to get all stupid up in here. The Talk Monster. Ha <laughs> ha yes. gonna reminisce just for a minute if you if you don't mind don't mind at all stone on air on the flagship talk radio 102.3 well, my mind is gone so all you came to do is bleed me believe me wait for it Stone on Air. My name is Brian Stone. Thank you for hanging out at Stone on Air and all the social medias. If you're hanging out there, definitely hang out with us. We appreciate that interaction. It's the first show of many. Had a long way to go and a lot of preparation already put into it and a lot more left to do. 2009, over the sound, up with the Joneses. Adam and Dan here. What's up, guys? Sounds about right. Hey, how's it going? Hey. hey. Listening to your old band, you know, just sitting around. Yeah, reminiscing. Reminiscing with the old Joneses. Was this the, last, was this the last album you guys put out? Yeah. Uh-huh. 2009. When did you guys call it quits with the Joneses? Uh, or at least long-term hiatus or whatever. I don't know what you guys consider it. but I, I want to say it was uh, June of 2010, I think, was yeah. our last show at JJ's. We recorded the whole thing, and it's just sitting on a computer at my house right now. I remember that show. I remember that show. I was there. And uh, well, that's a bad place for that to be, just on your computer. <laughs> well, you know, it's gone through a couple of different mixes, and it's just... You know, we played every song we knew. It was a three and a half, four hour long yeah. show. It went way past last call. That was awesome. Um, there's a lot of uh, warts and miscues, and there's also a lot of really, really funny stuff that you mm-hmm. know, one of a time, one of a kind. Like, you know, TJ never really said the same thing twice on a mic. No, he was he's good at uh, keeping it unique. That's for sure. <laughs> so there's. Uh, good tj isms throughout and uh you know one day i think that'll see the light of day um it's just got to find its its right home i think you know the timing's got to be right some for that. Fu- some funding probably would mm-hmm. uh would help there too mm-hmm. uh dan pinson thank you for being here what's up uh you were in with me when i was in for jeff at the end of the year right at the exact dead very end of the year on uh mm-hmm. the 31st and and uh, the people were impressed with uh, just a little one man show you did that. That was day. a lot of fun. So I said, and you, you guys were the Hank and Cupcakes that night, and I just said, "All right, this has to happen again." So let's let's. Uh, you did have a show we were going to promote, but that didn't uh, that that didn't uh, come to fruition. So now yeah. we're just hanging out. But this is not a show that's set up for oh, we've got to promote something, or we're only going to be here because because this show's not a commercial. It's to to hang out and 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 just chat and play music. That's what it's yeah. for here at Stone on Air and Talk Radio One Two Point Three. Adam, you're the drummer um, of Danimal Planet. Where, you and me, we're we're, we're grungers. Mm-hmm. We're 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 ch- children of the nineties. I've known you for a lot longer than I've known Dan. We're I mean, not. I'm I was, I'm curious as to how you got into this kind of music, and we'll play it in a minute. If you don't want, we don't hear what this kind of music is. This isn't. In my older past years, I would have been less uh, open to stuff like this. Now I love it. I've, I'm getting more and more experimental in what I listen to all the time. Mm. What, the transition from less grunge to more, I don't know, whatever we call whatever we call the Animal Planet. I, I mean, I've always thought of myself as a rock drummer, um, you know, and, and I've been in countless bands with Dan since sometime in, like, 1993 or something, I think, is when oh, we Oh, does it go that far back? It was a long... He said something around, Somewhere around there. Uh, I had been living in Nashville. This was a couple of years ago, and Dan had started doing his uh, solo thing which you know sounds like he's playing three or four different instruments at the same time 
uh, and it allowed him to have a fuller solo show that he could take around. And um, on the side, he started recording all that stuff into Pro Tools, and he would send it to me for mixing. Um, and uh, had some stuff sort of fall apart in Nashville, ended up moving back down here yet again. Uh, and we started playing together on those same songs like two, three weeks after I'd moved down here. Uh, and I've had this electronic drum set now for like four or five years, and it never really found a home, you know, and in my music. Uh, and I don't really listen to that much electronic stuff on my own. I'm still, you know, my iPod plays Pearl Jam and 311 and A Perfect Circle, and, yeah. you know, I dabble into the into the 2000s Speaking a little Speaking of the bit. Bonnaroo tickets, Pearl Jam's going to be a Bonnaroo this year. Too. Oh, yeah. wow. As a plug that, plug that. So, um, But the electronic drum set seemed to lend itself naturally straight to this kind of music and it kind of you know some of the sounds are kind of cheesy but we found more of the electronic y sounding stuff you know could fit in to what he was doing and just went from there and here we are almost two years later and we have a plethora of material and uh, I just wanted to say plethora on the radio. Hey, it's always a good word to use. It, it makes people think you're smarter than you actually are. Yeah, that's, that's the point. <laughs> due diligence was one of those a long time ago. Now every idiot uses due diligence. Uh-huh. And boi- uh, boilerplate is another one I like. <laughs> uh, Adam Brown and uh, Dan Pinson from Dan will plant it in here on Stone on Air. Uh, make that thing, let, make that make some noise like you just did a minute ago. <laughs> those are just a couple of the so- sophisticated <laughs> sounds that come from the... Come from the creative minds of, of Dan Pinson and Adam Brown. Right. He'll throw those things in. We'll be practicing sometimes, and he'll he'll well I'll be in a really serious moment during rehearsal. You know, really getting into the song, and then all of a sudden I'll hear you know one of those weird noises yeah. come out of it. It keeps him on his toes. It, it keeps me on my toes. Yeah, you know, that way when a when you know a bra hits him on stage because that happens all the time. You know, it doesn't throw him off his game. And there you right. go. You know, just that's right. Real quick, we'll play something. But uh, the, the, the New Year's show, how did it go? Oh, with, it was amazing with Hank and Cup. It was a lot of fun. The pictures show uh, looked like uh, it was pretty full, and, yeah. and it looked like the uh, the. The whole setup was really cool. I, I love speaking of opening up your minds and listening to different stuff. I love Hank and Cupcakes yeah, they were great. Uh, from Israel via Atlanta. A mm-hmm. uh, guy mm-hmm. and a girl who um, are just wild and yeah. incredible. So uh, all good though, all the way around. Yeah, it went great. It was a lot of fun. We also we also have I think uh, four songs from that that we did uh, full uh, video audio production on. Oh, cool. So uh, I'm not sure when those will be released, but. Um, probably in in the in the next like five or six months we might have them uh, ready maybe even sooner than that so all right cool well let's uh, let's not waste any time we're already about halfway through the hour and I mean it's, it's like boom gone an hour's gone before you know it Dan will plan it on Stone on Air my name is Brian Stone Nathan Gale running the show Tara hanging out having fun on a Sunday night here at the flagship Talk Radio one hundred two point three at SoundCloud at StoneOnAir dot com Dan will plan it. Within a song, and 
really sorry that the ignorance prevails in the light of your own intelligence. The Animal Planet. Danimal Planet live on Stone on Air here on the flagship station, Talk Radio 102.3. The website went live 33 minutes ago, stoneonair.com. Audio of the show will be posted up there immediately following the show at the SoundCloud page as well. Danimal Planet, going to hang out for the rest of the hour. This is what we do. This is what the idea is. My name is Brian Stone. Very, very privileged. feel very privileged to be able to do something like this, and I hope you guys enjoy it. This is the old band up at the Joneses. We'll have TJ in hopefully next week. TJ will be a regular on here, I would imagine. Stone on Air is live on a Sunday evening. We'll be right back. Monster. Now back to more. Stone on air. Okay, Pops, let's get on with the show. The Talk Monster. You're back. Stone on air. We won't play this for long because it doesn't really sound that great. But it's still fun to go backwards in time occasionally. My name is Brian Stone. Nathan Gale is... My executive producer and videographer, Tara V's in the house, and Dan will plan it, Dan Pinson and Adam Brown, and Adam, this is one of your old incarnations. What is this? This, this isn't the studio version, though, is No, it? I, I, I couldn't find it. This is from the uh, CIA Awards. Wow. It's, uh, it's on YouTube. I just ripped it off well, of this there. This is interesting, though, because uh, I, I, over the years, have gotten numerous compliments for this, this particular performance, and this happened a bunch of times, too. Um, there were video cameras on stage, and one of the guys at some point steps on a cord that unplugs Jason's I, guitar. Yep, and he's and he it took a second to figure it out, and it was uh-huh. uh, and it's just one guitar, Ooten and um, it's Andy. Yeah, Andy and, and Andy and um, and Adam's a three piece old little house band, and and uh, yeah, that was the one they featured on Fuel TV. If mm-hmm. any of you guys remember Fuel TV, but his guitar gets, and of course he's the lead singer, so his guitar gets unplugged. He finally figures out what's going on and turns around to try to fix it in the middle of a part where he's supposed to be singing. So, And this was like... Oh, that's one, right. And then you picked up the vocals. That was... Oh, that and nice. that was back in... You can definitely hear my uh, 90s alternative influence because when I start singing... <laughs> I got an apple in my mouth well, and I'm singing with the apple in my mouth. Well, I mean, we could wait till it gets to that part. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I've relived that moment so many times. You know, it's... Uh, a little less pleasurable each time. Hey, but hey, working on the fly, man. <laughs> Adjusting on the fly, man. Live radio, live shows. You got to do it. Uh, my name is Brian Stone. This is Stone on Air. This is Danimal Planet. We're not going to waste any more time because we're, I mean, the, the hour's flying. Let's, uh, let's play some more music. Danimal Planet live at Stone on Air is how you get a hold of the show. Any in, any social medias out there and stoneonair.com with Danimal Planet. <laughs>
Repeating every day with sweet surrender My heart became a list that stopped the tender To freshen up each day became so useless The newness was a change routine of uses I was all in love with too many misses Denial is in a mind that's trapped with wishes Planet on Talk Radio 102.3 at stoneonair.com. Hang, hanging out, having fun on a Sunday evening. Uh, you might not want to listen to the show at 5 o'clock on Sunday. I mean, hell, the Bronco, Broncos are on, you know? You might want to watch the Broncos play football. That's cool. I get it. You can listen to the show in a couple hours. You can listen to the show tomorrow. You can listen to the show on Thursday. You get the idea. But live, no net. On the flagship, Talk Radio 102.3, every Sunday at 5, it's Stone on Air. We'll be right back. Danimal Planet in studio. The region's most 
easily accessible radio show. Radio show. Stone on air. We'll be right back. The Talk Monster. Now more. Stone on air. The beautiful sounds in my head. The Talk Monster. You're back. Stone on air on the flagship Talk Radio 102.3. Shortly we'll be up at stoneonair.com. The website went live 51 minutes ago. My name is Brian Stone. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on a Sunday evening. Loud and proud with just a dash, a little brash here and there. That was definitely loud. <laughs> that was... Well, that's your fault. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nathan Gale, the executive producer and videographer of the show. We'll get the YouTube channel up. And Adam, once we get work out some of those kinks, we're still working on that. We got one, two, three, four, I believe, cameras set up here at all angles. And uh, we've been working on all afternoon. A lot of hard work by everybody. I appreciate it. I was mentioning to you guys, Dan Pinson and, and Adam Brown in from Danimal Planet. It seems kind of silly to set all this stuff up just to play a couple of songs, but... No, you, that's that's basically what you do. Yeah, that's, that's what we do. That's what whether we do. it's two people standing there or 2,000 yeah. people or uh, mm-hmm. 20,000 people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we, we travel, We travel. you know, many hours to bring four times as much gear as we got in here. So we, we can, we, we're okay with that. Well, I appreciate you guys setting up. We've got just a few more minutes to go here. Um, this is the debut show. Anybody out there listening online or anywhere you're at, I appreciate it. Whichever way, wherever your travels might take you, you have every opportunity to, to hear the song, and this is kind of what we do. Hang out, uh, tell a story or two, play some music, and it'll evolve. It'll, this is uh, being the first show. I've got not just trying to figure it out as we go along, and, and, and we're actually pretty good at that here at the Talk Monster. So we'll be uh, here next week with uh, Tara's going to be in and talking some Grand Falloon stuff. Hopefully, uh, TJ, if you're out there, just come on in. If you don't hear from me, just swing on by. And got uh, Soul Mechanic lined up to come in next month. Uh, I'll get to the, more of those specifics. I'm just going in my head right now, which is a bad idea. So let's play some music. At Stone on Air is what you're listening to. It is Danimal Planet.
Danimal Planet on Stone on Air at Talk Radio 102.3, stoneonair.com. Well, told you to go quick. That's basically all of it. Dan Pinson, Adam Brown, um, you'll be on with the um, the family shows. Forgive me, Tara, for not remembering what we're calling them over at Grand Faloon. Yeah, over Grand Faloon, uh, the 31st. The 31st, and we'll... Uh, Is that right? Yes, 31st, 400 East Main Street. And we'll be talking more specifically uh, about that next week. Hopefully have TJ in, if not TJ, somebody. And um, this is it. This is the show we're going to do. And uh, Dan and Adam's hijinks over there. (laughs) That won't be here all the time. I can drop by. (laughs) You're more than welcome anytime, Adam. If you want to spend an hour and a half setting that up to do a little dog noise. (laughs) Feel free. I'll let you do it every single week. Dan Pinson, Adam Brown, thank you very much. Nate, thank you. Tara, thank you. We're basically done here. My name is Brian Stone. We'll be in tomorrow as normal with Jeff Styles on Talk Radio 102.3 and Fred the Show. Stoneonair.com. The website is live. At Stone On Air and all the Twitter, Facebooks, Instagram. We're all over there. And if you got to get some stuff to me, snail mail is, is a wonderful thing. I know you kids think it's stupid. No, it's not. 821 Pineville Road, 37405. Anything you want to get to me, just have a care of Stone On Air or email me. Stoneonair at gmail.com. I'm telling you, man, we need some hot chicken in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I don't want to have to go to KFC for it. If you missed the beginning of the show, that was Stone's throw. Why do I have to go to KFC for hot chicken when I'm 180 miles away from the the finest hot chicken in the land? All right, my name is Brian Stone. Thanks for hanging out. We're going to get on out of here. We'll see you again next Sunday at 5. Anybody ask, where did that cat go? Tell him I'm gone.